You've had two or three straight A-10 series wins against some of the best teams in the conference. Where are the guys at in your mind right now as we get closer to tournament time? I, I think we're sitting really well. Um, you know, you can't let up the next weekend. Um, but we, you know, we were sitting two and four, and you're, you've got undefeated St. Louis coming in. You've got second place Davidson coming in, and then, of course, the rivalry weekend against VCU. And I thought our guys handled it great. We we went two out of three in all the series, and you know we're back to where we want to be in the in the mix. Okay. You just mentioned starting a little rocky at first in conference. You guys had a hot, hot start, and then you're getting hot again now. Have you seen the guys kind of transition or fit into their roles more so after losing some key guys? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's difficult with the injuries we've, we've had that, you know, our, our guys are in different roles than we really we really expected in the fall. So uh, I think it's a tribute to them and, and, and what they're trying to do to pick each other up with, with, with the amount of injuries. You know, we've got a, you know, Matt Olson, who we thought was going to start, he's, he's been in a better role for us being a reliever. Uh, Caleb Ward, the number of times we've had to use him um, just because you know, we were trying to get him an inning at a time, but with the injuries, he's in there all the time. And I think it's, it's made them better. Um, it, it's, I know Caleb's tired. Um, I don't want to throw him every day. I don't want to throw him three days in a weekend, but um, you know, he, he wants the ball. And that's, that's what we're trying to get. We want the guys that want to be out here and want the ball, that want the ball hit to them, that want to be at the plate when the game's on the line. And I think we're getting some guys that are, that are acting that way. We talked about some, losing some key guys. The program's obviously seen some of the guys have successful careers in the majors. Um, they've also been successful outside of baseball. There was several guys here a couple weekends ago. What does that mean to you to have a bunch of the alums come back and watch games and interact with the current team? Well, I think that's, you know, that's why we're here. I mean, the, these guys that have previously been here, they're the ones that have set the tone for the program. There's been some down years since the early 2000s when they, you know, were in a super regional, and that's what we're trying to get back to. And, you know, my biggest thing is to try to bring all these guys back to and, and let our players see what these guys are now doing, whether it's professional baseball, whether it's owning their own business or whatever. But, you know, we had the alumni weekend, the Davidson weekend. It was a great turnout. You know, I looked up in the stands at VCU and my last year, Zach Sterling was one of my starting pitchers and seven or eight other guys that played before I even got here were at that game. And it, it, for us, it makes us feel good because, you know, these guys didn't even play for our coaching staff, yet they're coming back till, still trying to support us and what we're trying to do. Okay. You are from Richmond, grew up here. Now you get to have, be the head coach. What does it mean to you to come back and coach well, in your hometown? Well, you know, when I went to Valparaiso, we were here for a couple of years when mo both of my kids were, were born or are getting ready to be born. And, you know, my wife always told my family, we'll be back. We just don't know in what capacity. And um, it, it took us seven years to, to do what we needed to do there to be able to come here. And it's, it's a dream. I mean, you know, my, my parents are still here. My, you know, my kids are now, you know, 10 and 11. So. Um, the opportunity for them to do what they want to do, whether it's Aaron does gymnastics and, and TJ does basketball and baseball, and for all my family to be able to watch them play, that's, you know, that's, that's part of it. You obviously had a lengthy career in the majors. Why did you end up choosing to coach baseball? Well, when I left NC State, that, the one thing I said is I, I, want, to, I want to be a coach down the road. I, I, you know, I didn't know how long I would play and end up being 14 years. and. I couldn't get out of it. Once it's in your blood, it's, you know, I, I, I tried to learn as much as I could when I was playing, when I was sitting the bench, when I, whenever I did anything. Mount, meeting in the mounds, you know, when, when, when Lasorda or whoever went to the mound, I went to every mound meeting just to hear what they were saying, to try to pick up something here or there. So, you know, I've tried to take what I can from every coach, manager that I've had. And I've had some really good ones and I've had some really good hitting coaches that, you know, I became good friends with and I think that's part of it. So, you know, I'm still learning today. You know, I, we don't know everything, but we're always learning, and, and I think that's the big part. And uh, for me to be able to put it together, this, this, is, this is what I wanted to do.